niggas always just call it the wrong time. Uh... That I serenade you every time you come click on my video. I serenade you. Um, happy Vlogmas Day 11. Oh, oh my god, we're doing this, we're doing it, and we're doing it very well. I'm excited, I'm happy. Um, today, dang, it's Thursday already. Oh my gosh, I felt like it was just Monday. Yeah, so it's Thursday. Um, I woke up this morning, I cleaned the out of my apartment like i literally like i deep cleaned the kitchen and then i cleaned the bathroom just because like i don't know i woke up and i was in one of those moods so i did some cleaning i uploaded my vlogmas video for the day um and now i have like errands to run for destiny shop so if you guys follow me on instagram then you know i have a brand destiny shop on instagram i have some orders to ship out so i'm gonna head to the post office and do that I have some things to sort out with my vendor so i'm gonna be doing that and like basically showing you guys the process of me owning my own brand having my own brand the kind of behind the scenes of that um because i feel like i don't talk about it a lot but it's something that i'm really really invested in and i actually love the fact that i have my own brand it was something that i wanted to start this year and i was able to and it's going very well so i'm excited so this is gonna be like the behind the scenes of my destiny shop and just you know running your own brand from home uh no experience at having my own brand but yeah i just curled my hair you guys saw me in the bathroom singing along to my rapping along to my megan i just curled my hair it looks so cute my outfit i still have my slippers on um I'm about to put my shoes on and i got my orchid on the floor because it was in the window this wiring issue like i really i need to figure this out <laughs> yeah i just have on these leggings these pretty little thing leggings that have like the flared ankle they're so cute and then this is my no bystanders travis scott um t i got this when i went to his concert two years ago it's about to be three years because that that was 2018 i think yeah so it'll be three years Ew. Oh, 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 oh. It beat a booty for me. <laughs> yeah, we're just fresh faced on this beautiful Thursday. I don't feel like putting any makeup on. I feel like my skin just needs to breathe, you know? Even though I really haven't put on makeup that often, but like, I don't know. I use Shopify for my website for Destiny Shop. It is Shopify powered. Yeah, I have two orders to fulfill on Shopify. I keep all of my lash stuff in here in this cabinet. Yeah, so I actually... Ooh. Niggas always just call it the wrong time. Uh, Anyway, I have all my lashes. It's really not much. <laughs> There's only a couple left in here. I keep them in here. So I'm going to show you guys like a little process that I have. <laughs> I don't know. I used to have these um, 
discounted cards. They were like thank you cards. This is what they used to look like. I should probably cover the code. No, I'm gonna just turn, I'm gonna just end this code. But this is what they used to look like. They weren't this small. It was like the size of this card. This is just like the little like receipt or whatever. So you can like get another one if you want. All of my graphics, like my logo, every image that you see like on my website, I created in Photoshop. I created these little thank you card images in Photoshop and then I put them on the Zazzle, Zazzle website. Um, on that website, you can literally like get anything printed. So you can get like business cards printed, you can get thank you cards, you can get um, mouse pads, mugs, uh, keychains. I think you can even do like sweater, like a t-shirt or like a baseball hat. Like you can literally get anything printed on Zazzle. So that was just a website that I used to create my thank you cards. And then I have a business card. I'm not even gonna use this anymore because I just realized I changed everything. So this is what my business card looked like. Why is it not focusing on me? Yeah, this is what my business card looks like. Destiny Shop, created that logo in Photoshop as well. And then on the back side, it just says, tag us to be featured with the Instagram handle and then our um, email for like, if you have any questions. <sighs> yeah created this on photoshop as well so like the little instagram image and the email and then that's our our customized um info at destinyshop.com um gmail i have a g suite account so if you need a contact destiny shop in regards to an order or anything that's what it is so i think i got like a hundred business cards for twenty dollars i want to I don't know exactly how much it was. I ran out of the thank you cards, but I, the that thank you card, um, I'm gonna be redoing it. So I have to actually work that out later. Um, like create a mock-up of my new business cards with my new logo that I created um, and like my new color scheme. So my Instagram account for Destiny Shop used to be like the color scheme was like pink and glitter and it was like very girly and i don't know i like at first it worked and i liked it it also played into the packaging for my lashes so this is um one of the lashes this is so hollywood these are so pretty um i also created these stickers in photoshop and then i put them through the zazzle website and i got these little round stickers so for every lash that you ordered there was a sticker that came on it so it was like customized logo just so that everything looks more cohesive and it just looks like really like it's all branding so yeah these are what my lashes look like they're so cute oh but i'm so excited because this packaging is gonna be no longer i'm gonna i I got like a new vendor for my lashes um, and I've updated my packaging and it's gonna be so nice and luxe and I just can't wait until it gets here. Ah! They sent me like, um, they sent me a, a test one just so I can like see what it looks like, but it doesn't have my logo like printed on it. Like my new packaging is gonna have my logo, my updated logo printed on the actual like case like no stickers or anything like it's it's gonna be 3d printed on the on the case so it's gonna be so cute so that's why I like yeah i did a whole brand revamp for destiny shop like i would say probably a month ago i was like i want to do this differently like i like where i liked where my my brand was at but i wasn't in love with it and it wasn't something that i was even focusing on the way that i should have it was just like something to have on the side like another stream of revenue another way to make passive income but um i wasn't really focusing on it and like the same thing like i said with youtube like as much as you put into it is what you're gonna get back so i wasn't putting an, in enough effort or enough time or energy into destiny shop so i wasn't getting the return that i should have or that i wanted you know and that it was fine it worked for me because i was focusing on other things but i was like you know what i think it was like a month ago i was watching a lot of the fine gurus videos um i was watching glamazon tay's videos on youtube i was watching 
um i forgot the other girl's name but i like to watch like you know women in business um entrepreneurship videos because they're all very inspiring like girls that you know do the same thing that i do or are have been in the same position that i've been in and they just decided like you know what i'm gonna take this extra income that i'm making and i'm gonna put it into starting my own business and i've always wanted my own business it was actually one of my goals for 2020 it was a goal that i wrote in 2019 because i always write my goals down before the start of the new year um and one of the things i said like i wanted to start my own brand so yeah i also was just like i need to know like what the message is for destiny shop like what is destiny shop destiny shop is an embodiment of me i feel like i'm very like you know spiritual and aspirational and inspirational and i'm always speaking on like living in your truth being your your most authentic and honest self being confident being happy living for you why is it hello living in your most authentic self um and honestly deciding your own fate deciding your destiny like whatever it is that you want your destiny your destiny to be it can be that my name is jasmine destine destine means destiny in french so i was like shop your destiny shop your fate choose choose what it is that you would like to aspire to be to to inspire others shop your destiny that that's my whole vibe the whole aesthetic of a destiny shop so it's starting off with lashes because beauty is something that's so much like it's such a big part of of me and what i represent and i i feel like i started you know youtube with beauty but i know that it's going to venture out into other things that i'm really interested in that i'm going to want to show you guys that i'm going to want to be able to provide for you guys so i have so many ideas of destiny shop but for right now it's just lashes but there is going to be more in there's more in the works and there is going to be more in the future i'm super excited about it so yeah um that's my brand in a nutshell i have two orders to fulfill we just did a sale on destiny shop for black friday weekend so the only remaining lashes that i have are on sale right now they're ten dollars so if you want to go grab them before they're all completely gone i will not be restocking um and they won't look the same like it's gonna be the same lash but the next time around you see it it's gonna be some hot stuff it's gonna everybody gonna want it because it's gonna be real cute okay like it's gonna be a vibe let's see what these two orders are okay we have one baby cake lash for one order i'm gonna section separate it i'm gonna give a business card i have to redo my business cards that's so exciting I just like new stuff <laughs> I like new doing new things or like trying new things out I don't know stuff like that excites me a business card for each one when I get to the post office I just write the little I don't have one of those um what is it called the little like printers I'm gonna get one though because I feel like with my next when I get my my um inventory that's on its way here i feel like that drop is gonna be really big and i feel like a lot of people are gonna order i'm gonna claim that for myself i'm gonna put that i'm gonna speak that into existence because i can see on social media people have really been hitting me up about when i'm gonna restock and i'm like it's coming it's all the way it's all the way it's literally on the way they're packaging it and like doing the whole custom logo thing so it's all in the works but i'm excited so i'm about to head to the post office but fill these orders and then i'm gonna come back later and we're gonna do my updated thank you cards with my new logo and my updated business cards together you guys i just got back from running my errands i got food Every single time it turns on, every single time, I get excited. 
Um, it's a falafel, falafel gyro or in pita. I think there's, why is this not focusing the way that it, it usually does? Falafel. And I got Greek fries, which are just french fries tossed in olive oil with feta cheese. You guys, the, this is literally done. That's so crazy. <laughs> I had this for a month. That just goes to show how often I'm putting on the gloss. I definitely fell asleep. <laughs> I ate and I got the itis. I know I said I was going to show you guys how I made my thank you cards on Photoshop and then putting them on Z Zazzle. I'm going to actually wait to do that because I want to see my packaging come in. But I have this wig that I'm going to be putting on tomorrow. And I want to do some of the customizing now so that it's like less work for me to do tomorrow. Like in tomorrow's vlogmas video, I want to like show you guys the install. I don't want to have to show you the customization, the install, and then also do my makeup because I'm going to do like a full get ready with me. So I'm like, okay, like, let me just do the customizing now. So that's what I'm going to do. So cute. It's from Nye Beauty. I'm going to talk more about the wig tomorrow. Um, but... Yeah, it's like a regular, this is the natural color, which is that like 1B black. Ooh, this wig looks very big. <laughs> it's so pretty though. So it's 20 inches. It's a closure, so it's not a frontal. I love that. Closures, I'm realizing, I realized on my last closure wig, which was the Bob, they're so low maintenance, like I'm obsessed. I love that so much and they're so easy to install too like I don't always feel like having like my full hairline glued down you know I know it looks black on camera but in person it looks brown and I can see like little like brown and red hairs so I just want to dye it like black like I want this to be jet black and then I'm gonna bleach the knots because you can see the knots but it's a closure construction with like the tracks and then it has the comb i just got box dye dark and lovelies number 371 jet black i'm gonna try and do the watercolor method i don't know if anyone else has tried it i don't know if it's gonna work or not <laughs> to be honest i'm just like i want to experiment i don't feel like painting this dye all over the wig i kind of just want to dip it in i'm gonna boil some water and then get a little bucket and dip the hair in i'm gonna try and avoid the knots on the lace so like try and get it as close as possible i feel like i look so crazy i got my i have a pack of bw2 bleach and i have this little bottle of 20 volume developer so i'm just gonna mix up my little bleach mixture. This is my designated bleach bowl. Because to be honest, I do this quite often. Ooh, I feel like I just inhaled bleach. I definitely did. Oh my god. If you don't have developer, you could also use conditioner. I've used conditioner before and it still works. Like peanut butter. Peanut butter look that's real thick because i don't want it to penetrate and bleach too far on the other side oh i'm excited i'm always excited to install a, like a new wig a new look i i like switching up my style so much you guys you see it <laughs> like my, if i could do like a different wig every week i would just to deserve different looks yeah i just try to coat as much of the the lace as possible like i'm not gonna part it all the way to the back but like i try to at least do where the middle part would be um so i'm probably gonna leave this off like half an hour period periana bro the last time when i bleached mona's wig i hung it up up here yes that's <laughs> If you have a anyone that has a bathroom hook, a hook in their bathroom, that's where you need to hang your wigs while they they process while they lift. 
So let me put a timer on my phone. 30 minute timer going. I'm gonna look like a different person tomorrow and I already have like my glam picked out, like the kind of makeup I'm gonna do. Oh, okay, it's so exciting. Uh -oh. <laughs> Point blank, period. Okay, so my time is about to go off. There's two minutes left. So I'm gonna mix the hair dye. The little bottle into the big bottle. Very hot. Okay, I got my water. <laughs> Why do I feel so excited? <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna work. Dang, I think I just wasted this time. It's not gonna work. Damn it. Why did I pour the whole thing in there? Oh, the water is getting darker. Oh, but I don't think there was enough, there was too much water. is working like it looks like it's giving it oh that's hot look at how light oh wow look at how light the knots are <laughs> but i over bleached it so yeah i'm gonna have to fix this tomorrow i don't think that's a hard fix though but i think it is taking the color it's giving jet black. Maybe I can just like dip it. Wouldn't it be kind of redundant if I got the knots black after I just tried to lift them and I got them super light? Look at how dark the water got, by the way. So yeah, I think this works. <laughs> it's definitely black for sure. Listen, I'm no professional. I'm a I'm a still fleek the fuck out of this tomorrow, but I definitely did over bleach these knots. Yo, this water, look at how dark this water got. It's literally black now. I was so like, I thought it wasn't gonna work because when I first put the dye in, the water was like a light purple. It was like really, really light purple. It gradually got darker. I don't know. I've been dipping, I've been dipping it in, trying to coat as much of the hair on the closure as possible and it's kind of working. I don't know, she's kind of giving scalp, low key. I might not have to go in with the hair dye tomorrow. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna use the um, conditioner that came in the box and I'm just gonna condition this hair. Okay, you see the the lace. I need to clip this hair up because. So I just finished washing and conditioning this hair. So I'm just about to let this air dry overnight because I don't feel like blow drying it right now. I'd rather just let it air dry. Yeah, the lace is still wet. But I have this um, lace tint that I bought from the Bold Hold. So I bought three things actually. I was really excited about this. So um, I saw a video on, it was either a TikTok or my Explore page, I can't remember, of the owner of the Bold Hold advertising these new products. And I was like, this looks like something I can get with. <laughs> So I just place an order because honestly I needed some new, I wanted to try a new wig glue. I bought a new wig glue. Yeah, it's a Bold Hold Active. It's the pink bottle. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm going to use that tomorrow. But then I also bought the Bold Hold Liquid Gold. So this is basically like, I would say it's comparable to using Got To Be Glued, like the black bottle. 
I've used it already because I've had this for like over a month now um, it dissolves with water so it's not water resistant this is more like for temporary um, wig applications or like shorter wig applications if you don't necessarily want to have it on for like a week or more like with the bolt hold glue this is not glue this is liquid gold is like a really really strong gel I would describe it as but I like it and the consistency of it is very very sticky so and I also like the applicator for the bottle this is not sponsored by the way. I literally just bought all this stuff. Um, I like the applicator for the bottle because it's just like a twist open and you could just apply it directly with this and you can also kind of like like move it around as you're applying it with the bottle. So it mean, it's like an easier application. And then the last thing I got, which I've also had for a minute now and I actually really, really love this, Bolt Hold Lace Tint in Caramel. That's the color that I got. But this is something you use to tone your knots after you bleach them. So you, you're you supposed to use this. Oh, it says wet or dry. Oh, so I'm gonna use it right now. Okay, I'm gonna use it right now. I thought you had to wait for it to dry in order to use this, but you can use it wet or dry. I've only ever used it on dry lace though. It says saturate extremely well and allow to air dry completely. Remember, you may add various coats for a darker shade of a specific tone. I love this stuff. It's literally like, it's literally lace tint in a bottle like and it's just so easy it just it's so easy so open this up and i'm also hoping because the knots are so light and it's kind of stained a little through the other side but then i also kind of fixed it i'm hoping that the lace tint which is a darker it's like my complexion it's caramel will just like turn that really bleached hair into a caramel color you see it you see how it's like instant like i don't even you don't have to rub it in like you literally just spray it and then leave it and i use this by the way just for reference i use this on mona's wig for her birthday when she came over and i did her wig install i used this on her lace and it still worked for her too and she's darker than me mona's like you know that beautiful brown skin color so i think they're very versatile i could have only used a little bit and gotten a lighter color but i be like bronzing and stuff you know and this still it's not going to be too um dark for me it's going to be just right like it's literally going to be perfect watched You're, you guys are going to see tomorrow but this lace it it looks really good actually it looks so good oh my god I'm so excited. Okay, wait. So I just need to like, I'm gonna just hang this. <laughs> this is so ratchet. Oh my god. But honey boo shell. I don't really care. I got my wig hanging in the shower. That looks so scary. <laughs> that looks so scary. That's going to be the rest of my night, you guys. I'm not going to do nothing else but edit this video. But I'm so excited for tomorrow transformation. No, because I'm going to do the whole, like, it's going to be like a full get ready, like, wig. And so I'm about to snatch this wig up. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, like, I'm really excited. So tomorrow's wig is going to be really cute. But I just wanted to get some of it out of the way so that it wasn't super duper duper long. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications, period, okay? Period, turn on your post notifications because you're been uploading every single day to Vlogmas, okay? A little bit stressed, a little bit tired, but I'm on time and I'm consistent and that's all that matters so make sure your post notifications are turned on so you're notified every time that i do upload i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload which is gonna be tomorrow good night